Shut up and take my money now. Aerospace company Hybrid Air Vehicles has unveiled what the interior of the world's largest aircraft will look like. The Airlander 10 is powered by four 325-horsepower turbocharged diesel engines and uses aerodynamic lift like a fixed-wing aircraft to take off. Helium keeps the Airlander in the air. The airship can carry payloads of up to 10,000 kilograms and stay in the air for five days at a time with a crew. It also doesn't require a runway. The 302-foot-long Airlander 10 is about 60 feet longer than the world's largest passenger plane, the Airbus A380. Traveling up to 146.45 kilometers, the luxurious airship will be able to carry up to 19 passengers to take part in a three-day journey. Designed by aviation and automobile design firm Design Q, the airship features ensuite bedrooms, a bar, and a lounge area. And there's also floor-to-ceiling windows so passengers can enjoy the view from 16,000 feet. Stephen McLennan, CEO of HAV, said in a press release that Airlander challenges people to rethink the skies. He also mentioned that air travel has become about getting from A to B as quickly as possible. What they're offering is a way of making the journey a joy. In the past, the airship had suffered some setbacks from a nosedive in August 2016 to a safety feature that was triggered that caused the airship to deflate in 2017. Airlander 10 has completed six successful test flights so far. It needs to complete 200 incident-free hours to be able to carry passengers for commercial flights. Easier than walking, for sure. And the winner is Boeing. Development of the next generation of presidential aircraft has begun. The U.S. Air Force has purchased two Boeing 747H jetliners as part of their plan to develop a new Air Force One aircraft. The planes were previously ordered by TransAero, a now defunct Russian airline. Under the contract, Boeing will design modifications for the 747-8s. These will reportedly include an executive interior, meeting rooms, medical facilities, and other features of the current presidential aircraft. The design will also need to have defensive countermeasures, including a hardened exterior capable of withstanding an electromagnetic pulse from a nuclear explosion. The Air Force reportedly plans to spend around $3.2 billion on this project, and if all goes to plan, the jetliners could be in the air by 2022 or 2024. Fighter jets get an electromagnetic liftoff. The U.S. Navy's newest carrier, the USS Gerald R. Ford, last week successfully launched a fighter jet using a new electromagnetic launch system. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS, uses a linear motor drive to launch the aircraft. Traditional steam catapult systems use steam pressure to push the aircraft down the track, while EMALS uses magnetic fields to pull the aircraft forward. EMALS can control the launch with greater precision and works with a wider variety of aircraft, including light unmanned aircraft and heavy fighter jets. China says their next aircraft carrier will feature an EMALS system, while India and Britain have also revealed similar strategies. Sonic Boom Becomes Sonic Thumb America's top scientists are working on a plane that can fly from LA to the Big Apple in just a few hours. Lockheed Martin and NASA have partnered up to develop a quiet supersonic plane named the X-59. The proposed single pilot craft has a wingspan of 29.5 feet, is 94 feet long, and weighs 32,300 pounds at total fuel capacity. NASA says the X-59 will be powered by a General Electric F-414 engine. This is the same engine used by the F-A-18 EF fighter jets. The craft's hull is designed to abate the noise from shockwaves traditionally associated with mock speed travel. During that, shockwaves come together and create loud sonic booms. The space agency says the X-59 is designed to separate these shockwaves, resulting in much less noise reaching the ground. The aircraft's first flight test is scheduled for 2021. Well, this is unique. Ever thought of air travel in terms of reusable shipping containers? If what a bunch of researchers are doing in Switzerland is anything to go by, that concept might just fly. Developed at the Federal Polytechnic Institute, the pod plane's concept could one day allow passengers to board at rail stations. These pods each measure 30 meters in length. After being ferried to the airport, the pod would join others under a giant 60-meter wing. This modular concept aircraft is one of several developed by Swiss researchers called Clip Air. According to CNN, its speed and range would be around the same as most mid-sized commercial aircraft. World's largest aircraft set for luxury tourist trips. 
How would you enjoy seeing the world like the passengers of the Hindenburg? Um, maybe that wasn't the best example. The world's largest aircraft, the Airlander 10, made by hybrid air vehicles, is set to be tested by travel company Henry Cookson Adventures to take tourists on exotic trips around the world. The aircraft is powered by four 325 horsepower turbocharged diesel engines and uses aerodynamic lift like a fixed wing aircraft to take off. Helium keeps the Airlander in the air. The airship can carry payloads of up to 10,000 kilograms and stay in the air for five days at a time with the crew. It also doesn't require a runway. The passenger version of the Airlander 10 is expected to be able to cruise at 80 knots at an altitude of up to 20,000 feet. The Airlander 10 is currently still in its test flight phase and looking to gain airworthiness certification.